I'm going to try to get the platform finished on my extension to the shed. Once I have the platform down and secure, I'll have a nice flat surface, get all the framing done. And so that way I'll be able to get the walls up real quick. This is two by four construction lumber. So it's eight feet long, but these measurements are not actually two by four. And two years ago when I was building my shed, I had to learn that. It's pretty much just rounded up. These are actually one and a half inches by three and a half inches. If you measure it like this, it stops right there and it's three and a half inches. And if you measure this, it's one and a half inches. And when you're framing, you'll need to cut them down by three inches because pretty much the frame will have one piece going this way and then there'll be pieces like this and then pieces up at the top. And so in order to keep the entire shape of everything to be eight by eight feet, uh, you need to cut them down by three inches to make up for the one and a half inches at the top and one and a half inches at the bottom. Otherwise, if you don't cut it down by three inches, it'll end up like messing up the dimensions of the, the frame that you're building. So for the nails, I'm going to be using common 16D nails. And I finally found my hammer. It's been sitting in all the storage bins. Let's get started. I have the 2x4 frame set down on top of the uh, base here already, but this corner right here doesn't go all the way in. See? So it's because this is jetting out right here. And I tried kind of hammering it back in, but I can't seem to get it in. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it in like this. I'm going to get a screw to go in and then pretty much tighten everything up. Yeah, that's all right. It's probably like a little less than a quarter inch, it feels like. Yeah, it's not that bad. All right, I'm good. So I just realized that I should have had this turned this way so that way the beams are running across this so it's going this way. So that way you'll have the support of this beam right here in the center. But I've already like screwed the, the frame down to like this right here and all the way around. And I don't want to undo everything and turn it. And I would have had to put all the pieces together before placing it on here because I can't nail everything in from this side because yeah I'm gonna just keep it like this because because the plywood is really thick anyways and this is plenty of support yeah well mistakes happen and I'll learn from them so I'll make sure that I remember something like this here next time See, you only learn by doing things and making the mistakes. So yeah, I'll do it next time. This is fun.
right, it's getting pretty dark, but it looks nice. <laughs> Look at that. I am excited. I'm going to box this up basically. Pretty much just build another room right next to the shed here. I'm going to cut open like a door sort of opening right there. And then uh, this section right here will have a window that peers out also. Um, and I might actually do another exit door that will only be able to be locked and closed from the inside. Uh, so that way uh, if somebody like ends up locking the door right here up front, I'll have a way of leaving. For, for the most part, I'm not really concerned about that, to be honest, because um, because the lock on the inside uh, actually prevents people from locking the door on the outside. And so like it, it's complicated and I'll make another video on it. But yeah, I should have enough time to be able to get the rest done tomorrow. I don't have enough money actually to buy more like plywood sheets. Um, somebody did send a little bit of money, but that only pays for like half of it. Um, but I might be able to fill in the rest, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, please hit that thumbs up. It helps out the algorithm. Comment and share if you enjoyed the video. Consider checking out my merch uh, on my spread shop. I got a bunch of new designs, it's really cool. Here's some bonus footage. If anyone actually ends up watching this, and if you have any idea of how I would go about doing this, let me know. You already know that I have this platform here, right? And then I need to build up eight foot walls. But the thing is, eight feet from there will go all the way up to that corner right there. And this edge right here is in the way. So pretty much this overhang is in the way. So if I were to do an eight foot wall up, um, it's gonna hit that. And so I'm probably going to have to do like a, like a seven foot wall that goes across and then matches up with that and then maybe angle it slightly and then bring it down. But that seems really complicated. So I'm not entirely sure. So basically right here, it's seven and a half feet high maybe, I think. And so this wall over here will have to come up seven and a half feet high to then match up with that right there maybe. These pieces right here, see? Like the plywood kind of juts out, but the piece of wood actually ends right there. Same with that one and same with that one because I measured everything incorrectly. So if I were to like strain this out, I would have to like either cut the plywood or cut or I don't really even know, but I need to I need to place another beam right here. So yeah, it's getting dark, but yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know.